Hi, hello, and welcome. That's not it. Is that not it? No, it's hi, hello, how are you? Is it? I'm well. Thanks for asking. You don't say welcome? No. This is a blooper. Do you want my intro? No, this is going in. Hi, hello, how are you? I'm well. Thanks for asking. Gosh, it's been a while, hasn't it? But I'm back. As you can see, I'm, I'm in a slightly new setup. You probably can't really tell. I mean, there's a Christmas tree, but the rest of the room is also different. A lot has happened since I saw you last. I uh, survived a health scare. I moved house somewhat, I suppose. Uh, I finished my first year at acting school. Doing well. Uh, okay, I wasn't doing well for a while, but I'm doing well now, and that's what's important. Um, <laughs> Anyway, today, the reason that I'm here, the reason I have returned and come back is because I have a video for you. Now this was recorded either early this year, 2022, or late last year, 21. Uh, I can't quite remember, but the footage is about a year old. So long hair Liam has returned. Well, that should be fun for everyone. <laughs> I haven't had long hair in quite a while, as you can see, do not currently have long hair. Um, but that'll be fun. And I also have a guest. My pal Mike will be joining us for this video. Not here with me, but like in in the video that you're gonna watch in a second. You'll, you'll know when it happens, right? Uh, essentially, I wanted to give some information on my workout uh, that I have been utilizing for the last five or six years since I started exercising to help change my body. Uh, it's done drastic good in my life. Here's a little comparison of the changes of my body. Maybe, maybe I'll put my hand down here. Yeah, it's pretty big, right? And then here's another one just in the last year of a little bulk up uh, and then slimming down process. Yeah, so I have managed to change my body quite drastically since I've started working out. And I also have a degree in uh, physical health and physical activity. So. I am somewhat qualified to give a bit of this information. Am I a personal trainer? No, absolutely not. Um, but I am kind of there thereabouts. So I hope this information is helpful for you. It's also gonna be a bit of fun because a lot of this footage was not usable. So we're gonna see how I go piecing it together. I don't know how it's gonna go. I haven't done it yet, but there's some stuff in there that is unusable. There is some stuff that is out of focus. There is some stuff with uh, really loud audio of copyrighted music. So there's some stuff that we didn't record that we were supposed to. I was a bit flustered, I think, uh, by recording in public. Yeah, this video was also done in public. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna try and put it all together. You may hear my voice over the top of things. You may cut back here and say hi to me again. But I don't know what's gonna happen, but it should be a bit of fun and hopefully you get a little bit of information out of it as well. Um, and I guess without further ado, welcome to my gym video. <laughs> We're doing uh, this. What's up guys, welcome <laughs> back to the gym you. workout video. Okay. Today we're gonna okay. go through Liam's routine. Yeah, so what we're doing right, we're at the gym, it's late, okay? It's weird to be here. So hopefully no one like notices us. I thought you are dirty on the right? ankle. But um, essentially we're gonna be going through some of my favorite exercises. Yeah, old mate Mike here is gonna help us film. You might see him, you might hear him. Better hope not, because <laughs> uh, And we're gonna just get to it. So I'll take you through a few different exercises. I might talk a bit, but I also might put in voiceover. I don't know, dude. We just like are running things to the grills. fly, you know? And then you press the red. Hello, welcome back. I didn't think I would see you so soon, but here I am. Uh, so we missed doing a warm up, which is super, super important for when you're lifting weights or doing any kind of exercise, but especially when you're lifting weights. Um, so what I would do is I always work up my uh, shoulders here to warm up first. I, I roll them around. I kind of do a few of these flappy looking things in a circle and then I get really big and then I go backwards and then I come back down. Uh, I then get really light weights, so two kilo dumbbells. And I do a bit of, bit of this action where I go up and down. I get a bit where I 
I'm trying to fit it in the frame where I go in and out, just working the sort of delt area. Make sure that my, do some lateral raises, you know, kind of get the shoulders going. Then I'll, I'll stretch out here. So put my arm up against the wall, stretch out my chest here. Same the other side, probably do the chest there as well. Uh, and then I will maybe hold a pole and kind of stretch my back and if I'm working my biceps I'll do a bit of this action here. Uh, okay, just warm up is very very important and we didn't put it in. As I mentioned earlier, I was flustered. Back to the video. Alright, well this is Liam Bracking weights, putting them on. Alright, so... I'm doing three sets and I get lighter as we go. So I start with the heaviest one and then I go down in weight each time. So we're going to start on six reps, we'll go eight reps and then we'll do ten reps. Hi, I'm back. Um, so this next bit, Mike did the reverse of filming. He turned the camera off when he thought he was filming and he turned it back on when he thought he wasn't filming. So, good fun. But here is what you would have seen. I'm doing incline press, incline bench press, which I do rather than bench press because it works both the shoulders and the chest. So I think it's much better as a compound movement. But it would have looked something like this. I would have been back here, leaning back in an incline position. This is about as close as I can get. And I would have pressed up and down six times because that was my heaviest set, right? Then I would have dropped the weight by 10%. So in that one I was on 60, I would have dropped it down to about 55. That's easy to, uh, easy number to make in the, in the gym. And then done another eight. So you go six and then eight reps. And then I would drop it down another 10% and I would do 10 reps. So they'll be down to 50 kilos and I would be doing 10 of these bad boys to finish off. And that's what it would have looked like, but unfortunately you didn't get to see that because he stopped recording. So, back to the video. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Welcome. Yeah, the big thing How that, are you? The big thing of this is just I'm good, you. thanks for asking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here you're going to have to listen to my voice instead of the actual recording because the sound is full of heavily copyrighted music. So let's have a bit of fun here, eh? Uh, see if I can talk long enough to last the clip. Now, in this one, I'm going to be doing some overhead press, where I press the bar over my head, hence the name. Uh, it's going to run in the same format as the incline press, where we do three sets, dropping the weight by 10% each time. Uh, this one, I think, is my middle set, my second set, so it's not too heavy, but it's still got a bit of work to it. Ideally, on my form from the side here, I wouldn't push my hips so far forward and uh, my head would stick through the bar. That's a good one. When your arms go up to put your head through, uh, that's ideal form. But hey, we're not that strict around here, but it's just good to know. But yeah, so that's that. I look small in like... Yeah. Actually, I'm looking all right at the moment. I'm not gonna lie. Thick. <laughs> but I'm like... A bit of a... Yeah. Uh, are you filming? Yeah. Oh, I filmed the whole time. Yeah. Okay. Not the whole um, time, just a bit. All right, we're moving on to some uh, chin-ups. You can do them either with a wide grip and do pull-ups, or you can do the chin-ups with a quad grip, which will really hit the, the biceps more, whereas the wide grip hits the, the backs and the, the lats a bit more. Uh, I prefer to do the chin-ups just because it's more comfortable, but whatever you can do um, is better. Same thing, you do the three sets, uh, and if you want, if you're more advanced, you can add uh, a belt and add a bit of weight on. But for today, we're just going to do body weight stuff. Okay, this next 30 seconds or so is just me going up and down on this bar. So, it's a little bit awkward with some of the music off in the distance and no sound. So, listen to the soft, supple sounds of my voice as I chin up and down. Up and down. Up one more time and down. There I am. Okay, thank you very much for listening. I appreciate it. I 
feel I know how close up that shit gets. Yeah, this is as far back as it goes, so. Okay. Do we stop? Sure, yeah. We want to get a little, like, bicep action, though? Um, I look small. Don't worry about that. Is that the comedy part? <laughs> well, okay. Hurtful. Uh, unwarranted, some would say. It's quite an unfair statement. I think most of this has been uh, rather humorous at certain points when it has needed to be, so uh, disregard what Michael has said there, and we'll go back to the video now. If we wanted to like do a thing on form, you'd be the guy. I am terrible with form. <laughs> I'm literally flipping off the camera because it's bra <laughs> I have a fractured <laughs> yeah. finger, bro. Dude, your back is like in the mirror and it's looking thick. <laughs> Yo, actually I don't eat all the time. Okay, again, we've got some loud music, so listen to the lovely sounds of my voice, yada yada, all that stuff. Uh, I just wanted to keep this clip in so that I could objectify uh, my pal Michael here as much as possible. Look at that big old behind he's got. That is hot. That is some hot stuff. Um, now, I, I do this exercise right after him in the clip, and it does not look nearly as good as this one. So I thought I would use this. Oh, he's putting his legs together now. Look at that. Um, I personally don't do a lot of legwork stuff, I should do more, but that's more of a health and uh, physical restriction thing of mine. But this is a good one to do, and he's doing it in the reverse way, so that you get a bit more range of motion, which is helpful, but uh, yeah, good stuff. Okay, back again immediately with some more voiceover. The music's too loud, so I'm just going to say this funny bit for you. I'm on my phone, Michael is recording, he says, wow, his favourite exercise is phone. And as you can see from my reaction there, I thought that was rather hilarious. Now that, my friends is comedy. Okay, the second half of this video is turning out to be a lot of voiceover stuff. Turns out the music was really, really loud. This one is the row machine. Um, I really like to do rows. I either do rows or the lateral pull downs, which is the one directly across from me. Um, it's really good at targeting this area that you're looking at right now. My back, your lats. Um, you've got to make sure you keep your back up straight though. I don't necessarily do that very well, but yeah, it's a good back one. I'll give him a flex. Look at that. Oh, I've done myself dirty in the lighting. I don't think I have done myself dirty. I think I have small arms. That dude, you have to it solid. Oh, you've got the lap flare? Yeah. Oof. I can't lap flare holding a camera. I don't know. I don't know. I, I like sometimes think I'm alright size and then I you sometimes are. don't, you know. You're at least 50 times better than high school. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's weird, like I don't I, I was like really nice to think of how I looked when I started working out, obviously. But then it's been like it comes in waves, you know. Sometimes I'm like, oh I look good, I'm happy with that. But then there's also like oh, yeah. I could look way better right now if I was like more dedicated. You know? That's when you get more dedicated yeah. though. I've probably not been nearly as dedicated as when I first started. Or like a year or two in. More of like a train smarter, not harder thing now. Which is not good. But like... I mean, it's smarter focusing on form. Getting each um, value out of rep. Or do you mean smarter, structure and regard? Like, bang for buck? Um, no, smarter is in more like... Um, he left me. Doing, doing ones that target certain areas. You know? So like a compound lift that does back and buys. Yeah, so bang for buck. Man, that's on camera. <laughs> okay, he uh, he's got me there. Yep. Now that's on camera and that'll be there forever. Um, that was exactly what I meant, and uh, he's got me. So hats off to you, Mike. Uh, you win that round. We don't need any of that. No, no, I get you though. It makes sense, man. You like. Yeah. Why work out your shoulders, your interior delts, like and then was, your pecs? Like, like I was, yeah, like I was probably doing six or seven exercises when I first started, like per workout, which is too many. You know, now I do like four or five. What do you mean too many? I do eight or nine. Yeah, that's ridiculous. That's so many. How long do you spend in the gym? An hour and a half. How do you not do more than that? What's your because, rest time? Well, I, I take pretty big rest time. Oh, to be fair, my, my nervous system. Your nervous system like, is shot. Yeah, yeah. One, no, so that checks out. That checks so out. I need like a good couple of minutes. Uh, between sets and then between like exercises, it's even longer. Yeah, so, my rest, uh, I got pretty short rest between mine. 
Not short, but like. No, I, like I can't superset anything. Oh, dude, or I, I, four of my like, I'll go. All right, I'm doing lat pull downs, rows, and then I'll go two biceps in a superset. Like I just kind of nut shit out. <laughs> okay, this next bit is only in this video because uh, Michael really loved it when he recorded it. He was quite proud of his videographer recording skills, whatever you want to call them. Uh, so you'll see in a minute the bit that he was really quite proud of. This is more the build up to it. Um, and once you're there, I'll let you know. He, uh, we got outside and he went, that was really cool. It looked really Looks really nice. Here we go. Here it comes. I believe it's. Yep, we've started. We're in it. This is the part. Yeah, as you can see, it's not much. But, uh, oh, he's going up high. And following me out. Actually, now that I'm watching it, it does look kind of cool. Michael, uh, I'll give you that one. I reckon. You're outside. You're looking like a drone film. Oh, there's my ugly mug. Very cool. No, look, he's pretty happy with it, isn't he? No, we like that. I'm supportive. Great stuff, Mike. Yeah, I think it's recording, right? I press record. Yeah, awesome. All right. Well, that's the workout video done. Uh, I have no idea how it turned out. Hopefully good. <laughs> Yo, it looks shady. He did all the filming, so I would blame him. Uh, but yeah, essentially, that's some of my favorite exercises and some that I think are the best for if you want, you know, best results essentially. Compound exercises are important and then support those compound exercises with isolation movements. That's kind of how I go about it. Um, and yeah, Michael, do you have anything to add? I've chucked in some special ones that I like personally. Yeah. There are Some are a little bit unorthodox, but just the way ankle mobility plays an effect, it, uh, they're good, yeah. Yeah, so not all of them were mine. Uh, Michael here did pick one or two, uh, but he, you know, we both have different knowledge in the workout sector so uh you know you get the best of kind of everything and this is just what works for me this might not be what works for you but it probably will work for you because it's good stuff so um just go with it all right thanks watch everything else that i have bye bye that's the end is that your outro yeah that's not bad